Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of my Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban Let's Play on PC. We are right where we left off uh, as we finish the story of this game and uh, the only thing that's now remaining is to is to go through all the classes again and do the final exams and after that uh, we will also collect all of the collectibles that are missing and finally go to the uh, end, year end of year ceremony. Uh, I don't even remember how it actually is in this game at the end. I think I also have to do all these uh, side missions or these mini bosses and I, I think I'm going completely wrong now. Just a second, now it seems... Okay, we were supposed to go right here on the third floor. I did not notice, well, I went here we are. one, one floor up, exam. one floor further. Do I look a bit feverish to you? Good try, Ron. Harry and I will meet up with you outside in the courtyard after our exams. Bye. Nice knowing you. Ah, there you are, Ron. Ready to start your final exam? Well, actually... Right then, here we go. I must warn you, Ron. This exam is fairly difficult. And also a bit dangerous. Um, dangerous? To earn a perfect score, you must collect all five challenge shields. Go to it, Ron. Good luck. Okay, so that started quickly. So... How many of those shields? Okay, five, five shields we need to collect. Uh, and I wonder if, if we will get to go again to the bean bonus room. But I think that we definitely need to collect all those beans just to count this as completed. So yeah, I should be I should be careful to collect all of those missing shields. So we found at least some secret and it's more beans. And also I was wondering since we are getting closer to the end of the game as we are already doing the final exams. I was wondering uh, what should I uh, record or what should I play next. It Okay, I, I used it twice. Um, but anyway, I was thinking if I should continue. Uh, in in this order as of PC game, as I would play the Goblet of Fire next, or if I should instead play again Prisoner of Azkaban, but this time on PlayStation 2, because I thought it could be a nice comparison, as those games are one of the most similar, at least visually. But there are a lot, a lot of differences in the gameplay. Uh, I thought it could be nice to see those two games, uh, to see those two games right after each other. But I will have to think about it. But if you prefer anything else, you can always let me know. But also, around two weeks from now, Hogwarts Legacy should be also releasing, and that is something I will also definitely be playing and I I don't know yet if I will manage to do uh... yeah that was that was a bad mistake okay I uh, just want to say I'm not sure if I will manage to release uh, Hogwarts Legacy on the first day but latest on the second day of the release I should be able to do it okay what should I what should I do here I cannot I cannot aim. I cannot aim at those. Hmm. I wonder maybe I supposed to jump. Okay. So it teleported me. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, I will be recording the Hogwarts Legacy. I will. I will have to download it the, the, the day that it releases. I. I will have the digital deluxe edition, so I will be able to play it on the 7th of February. But I will have to... Uh, 
I'm not sure, depending on which time it will be released, if it will be morning, noon or in the evening. Based on that, I will manage to either record the episode the same day or maybe I will record it and upload it the next day, so on the 8th. So latest on the 8th I should, I should have Hogwarts Legacy ready, hopefully. If nothing goes wrong, of course. But from the from the latest review videos I was watching about the Hogwarts Legacy, it seems that it will be quite nice. But then again, you never know until until you play it. But from what I see, or from what I saw about the game, I think I will definitely be enjoying that. So I will also try to share this on here. And I wonder how the sorting will be done, if I should done one of those bottom war quizzes, uh, where, where it will decide the, the house for me, and then import it into the game as they offer. Or if I should maybe choose the house myself. But if I chose it myself, then um, <clears throat> what house should it be? What would be the most interesting? I mean, Gryffindor is uh, the, one of the, I mean, the most important house. You have Harry Potter there, you are there in all of those games. So I think I wouldn't want to be in Gryffindor because I would like to explore uh, these other houses and so far I'm thinking that the Ravenclaw house is really intriguing to me because there's not really much uh, that you know about Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff too uh, but the Slytherin and Gryffindor house are probably the most known so yeah I will have to think about it but uh, unless you have any other suggestion on which house I should be in, I think it will be either Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw. Okay. And I also also wonder if we will manage to finish this game before before Hogwarts Legacy releases. Uh, but after the. After Hogwarts Legacy is released, uh, it will definitely take a priority in my videos. But I will still be recording the older games too. But uh, the Hogwarts Legacy videos, I just want them to be released more often there than these old ones. So yeah, I wonder if we will manage to finish this game. And after this game, I will either move to the Goblet of Fire or again to the Prisoner of Azkaban on PlayStation 2. And if I choose this option, I would also play all of the other PS2 version first. And then I would probably move back to the PC. So back to the Goblet of Fire. Because Goblet of Fire is same on all of those platforms on PC, PS2 or Xbox and then you have yeah, sorry can I jump here oh I can and then from from then all the major all the major platforms have the same game so the order of Phoenix is also same on all the major platforms except uh, for the handheld platforms like PSP and Nintendo DS those are different okay and uh, but those I would play uh, as one of the last games I think there are also Game Boy Advance version for the prisoner of, I mean for the for the, of the, of the Phoenix and and Half-Blood Prince, but they should be also same as on Nintendo DS. Uh, then PSP has a different version. Uh, 
it has its own version of Order of the Phoenix, but after that it also has the same version as uh, in half but in half but Prince. I mean, it has the same version as Nintendo DS or I'm I'm not sure if Half but Prince is also on Game Boy. Uh, in those games, you have same version for uh, for the major major platforms and after that you have same version for the PC platforms. Okay and I'm just now looking around because I hope I won't miss one of those shields. We are missing only one shield and okay I see it there so we won't miss it. Uh, but it seems like I will have to fight these imps again. My favorite enemy in this game. Okay, that was a good throw. Okay. This time it was quite quick. Let's collect the beans. Also here, and then we can use Punchify. Okay. And this is the last shield, so I suppose this will be the end of this lesson. Yes, okay. Fantastic work, Ron. A perfect score. You have clearly mastered the Carpe Retractum spell. Thanks, Professor Lupin. Okay, I definitely don't want to replay this. We have 100% and now we are moving as a Hermione. Absolutely, Professor McGonagall. Thanks to the time tanny you lent me. You may find this a bit more challenging than our previous exercises. Collect all five challenge shields to earn the perfect score on your exam. You may begin. Uh, so for some reason I don't... I don't particularly enjoy the spells uh, that Hermione has in this game. Um, I don't know why, I just don't like the controls of the animals and of the dragon and the rabbit and it seems it, it seems like it's quite dragging for me. I think that in the PlayStation 2 version the the, the spells for Hermione were, were actually one of the best from the trio. I think she had uh, Reparo, which actually is not in this game at all. And then she also had a Glacius, which Harry has in this game. And then she also had uh, the spell for the dragon, as she has here. Uh, but in PlayStation 2 version, you only... you didn't control the dragon. You, but you also turn the statue into a dragon and then the dragon just spit fire and open the way for you but you did not have to control the dragon but other than that the spell was quite useless to be honest you had to only cast a specific statue and then it would conveniently burn down a object which was in your path so, at least there was a convenient dragon statue right next to it. And then Harry has, I think... Hmm, he has Scarper at Kraken, which is the spell that uh, has thrown in this game. And then I think only Expecto Patronum. And as for Ron... I remember that Ron has a Lumos spell. Surely he doesn't have just one spell. And I don't remember what could what could the other spell be. And I just wonder if he has anything else or if it's really just if it's really just the the Lumos spell. I hope I'll, I also won't miss any shields. And then also in the PlayStation 2 version, all of them have Flipendo, which is actually something that is also missing in this game. 
and then they have also Expelliarmus, which they use as a shield charm. So essentially, it does the same thing as Protego. Yeah, I'm not sure if I fully understand what I should do here. Okay, so it's done. So it was just a little, just a little janky, and I hope I have not missed any shields. And I'm, I think I'm, I'm saying that for like a fifth time. Let's use the Pozo here. Okay, let's try it. Okay, I haven't pushed the button here. Okay, so I was expecting it would give me a shield. But it gave me a dragon instead. So let's use him. And perhaps it will get me to the shield. Should I do anything else? Oh, I should probably fly there. Okay, so let's go. Oh, there is a timer. Okay, so I should probably fly quickly. But it's not really that easy with this, uh, with these types of controls. But then again, I don't know how far we have to go. Well, maybe it, it is actually quite easy. Okay, I hope I'm not missing anything. Okay, now they now they are stepping up with the obstacles. It was still quite easy. Okay, I now we have to fly up and I hope you don't hear how I mash the mouse button as I'm trying to fly up. <clears throat> Sorry. And now down, that's significantly easier. Okay, I'm totally confused. I hope I'm not returning from the place I came from. Okay. Oh, bloody pillar. Again, a step up in the obstacles. Oh, this is really... I really don't like this flying. Why doesn't it let me? Okay. Okay, I just need to be quick enough. Okay, that was very close. But there is another shield here. There surely is a way to open it somehow. Oh, there are two shields. What am I supposed to do about this? <clears throat> okay, so... Maybe I will try to fly there again. I really hope that's not uh, that's not what what I'm supposed to do because I really did not want to do this again. But it seems I will have to. Oh, I can also use the space bar to fly up. Not that. It not that it's it's any better or easier this way. It feels completely same to be honest. Or maybe did I ran out of time and because of it uh, the shields did not open. I'm not entirely sure what I'm missing here. Or was there any any statue I had to lit up? Because I don't see anything. Maybe with the mouse it's a little easier, actually. Okay, I don't see any statue here. 
So this is not clearly what I had to do. Ah, okay. So here is a statue. And this opened one of the shields. So surely there must be another hidden statue somewhere. And I'm just missing it. But it won't be here as there is no fireball in here. Oh, I got a fireball actually. Well... Let's see. Maybe it was somewhere in the start and I missed it. Okay, nothing here. And what about here? Mm, also nothing. No. Okay, so it's not here. Uh, I will try that again. We now have one shield open. So there surely is the second somewhere. Right. It must be. Okay, maybe it was up here. I saw some beans. Yes, it's right here. Glad I did not clone past this. Uh, past it this time. Now, how do I leave? Okay. Now I can grab both shields and we have this. We have this challenge completed and now only Harry's challenge is remaining. You okay. scored 100%, Miss Granger. Exactly what I expected of you. Thank you, Professor McGonagall. I do wish the term wasn't over so soon. There's so much more I'd like to learn. Peace yourself, Miss Granger. If not for yourself, for the rest of us. No, I think I had enough. So let's go for Are Harry's you challenge. Ready for the Glacius final exam, Harry. Ready, Professor Flitwick. Splendid. You know the rules then. Pick up all five challenge shields to earn a perfect score. Got it. Five challenge shields. Oh, and Harry, this exam's a bit more difficult than our usual Glacius exercises. Good luck to you. Here it looks like I'm in some underground underground bunker I don't I can't picture this be in Hogwarts uh, but let's go hopefully there won't be any splitting paths again as last time and hopefully I won't miss a shield because of it let's see how do I speed up actually oh. It's just uh, W. Okay, first shield. Okay, again, all those frogs that we don't need. And immediately. Okay, I want to say immediately another shield, but apparently we can't get to it. We have to fight first. I wonder how many of the waves of the imps will be here. Hopefully not many. Oh, I hope it will kill them all. We saw that another sh Okay, so now we are going down. So I suppose there will be more fighting. Okay. He sprayed up jump there. I did not even try to. I did not even try to throw him down there, just straight up fall down. Okay, so Harry, Harry's exercise doesn't seem less like a Glacius challenge, but more, but more like a fighting challenge. Uh, but I'm not complaining, it's at least something different. It's quite nice in my opinion that uh, they they read redone these challenges and they did something else something new for all those challenges i really appreciate it that they just didn't force us to do 
the same challenges which we already done again and at least they think of something new and it's also quite short as you can see we are playing just for around 20 minutes and we already completed two of those challenges so yeah i think that the ending of this game is quite nice I don't like the Prisoner of Azkaban for PC that much, uh, but I think they did this right. They made the game longer because the story was not enough for them. Uh, but they've done it uh, the right way, I would say. And we already have four shields, and the fifth one was uh, up there behind the door, but I think we just need to defeat those and then we will get back to the fifth shield and we will have also this challenge complete. So this this challenge was pretty fast until unless something unexpected happens. Okay, three in one shot. And then this guy. Okay. It seems I should first uh, try to remove these fires and then kill the salamanders. It seems to me that if I freeze them, they are sort of like uh, transparent. Uh, maybe I'm just not seeing that correctly. Okay, now, now we need to jump up. And, okay, the floor just appeared below us. Oh, and we got all these beans too. Yeah, so this was quite nice challenge and quite easy and short. Okay, so let's grab the last shield. And we have it. Okay, <laughs> what, a, well done, what a pose. A I don't remember score. the others doing that. Wow, I can hardly believe it myself. It was a pleasure having you in charms class this term, Harry. You have a great deal of natural ability, my boy. A great deal indeed. Okay, so that's it. Ah, glad to see you three survived your final exams. Oh, they were great fun. Speak for yourself. I'll be having nightmares for months. Well then, let's see whether you've completed all of your third year requirements. So, uh, these are the requirements we need to finish the game. Uh, but I'm not sure if I collect all those uh, visiting cards. We have only 17 out of 80. But I will try to collect as much as I can. And if I won't collect them all in the next episode, I will at least collect them off camera, so we can see the ending of this game. But what we will definitely do in the next video will be the glaciers. Oh, sorry, the glaciers challenge I will also do behind the camera. But we will do the monster book of monsters, the hippogriff flying courses, and the pixie encounters. And we will also visit these eight secret portraits. So we will definitely like do that in the next episode. Off you go. But as for now, I think this should be it for this one. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can leave a like. If you have any feedback or any suggestions, you can leave a comment. I will see you in the next episode and goodbye.